the 613 at the Bronson Center. Ottawa, please make some fucking noise. I am your host, Prehistoric. You can follow us on all social media, www.capitalrapbattles.ca. I got a co-host. Hey, it's Frenchy Fresh. I can't stress this enough. Shout out Cottage Springs. <laughs> no problem. All right, without further ado, Battler to my left, making his return. Introduce yourself. Yo, it's final word, all that other shit. Can I get another beast mode? Let's go. And battler to my right, please introduce yourself. What's up? Trash. Let's go. Bars, of Bars of death. Let's go. All right, listen, this one's going to be crazy. Uh, Mac is going first. Everyone hold it down. <clears throat> You look like you stand completely still every time you go to a concert. <laughs> you got that weird thousand yard stare. And you're socially awkward. You look like the type of dude who gets panic attacks every time he has to go to the doctor. Honestly, bro, you give off all the same vibes as a grocery store lobster. You know what I mean? Yo, you are the most forgettable dude I have ever met, and it's true. I forget you exist every time you exit a room, which was very challenging for me because I had to write a battle and I kept forgetting with who. I'd forget you exist every minute or two, had to log on to Facebook just to check if you do. <laughs> it's been exhausting, man. It's been exhausting, but this could get really, this really could get a little bit spooky for you, like a tiny ghost. <laughs> Jesus. Because I am very polished, like a shiny stone. Yeah. Yo, what is up, CRB? Make some noise for me. If you don't know who I am, my name is MBS. I used to be the next big thing around here. And then I introduced him to X. <laughs> what a final word. I just watched your battle with cardiac arrest. It's safe to say, bro. You're like my stiffest competition yet. Against cardiac arrest, you said, and yes, this quote is direct, okay? You are only a threat to children. A pedophile is the only weapon you possess. All right, bet. So needless to say, right? This guy is the fucking best. I am, I'm under a lot of stress. I got heart palpitations. I can feel it in my chest. But the more I thought about that bar, the more I became conflicted. It's not that I don't doubt a pedophile could be an effective weapon in a certain circumstance. It's just a question of logistics. I mean, if he was going to bring a pedophile as a weapon to a bar, where the fuck would he have hit it? I mean, it's, it's, it's completely unconventional. <laughs> if it was a gun, it'd be different, right? But do you expect me to believe he just showed up to the bar with like a fucking ankle holstered sex offending midget? Just kind of dragging him across the floor on like some weird Siamese twin shit. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to understand. Like, if, if you did have a pedophile as a weapon, would it come with a case or a cage? Would you have to keep it locked in the closet? Would you need to bring a map to the pedo range in your car when you haul it? Like, I'm confused. Like, is there some kind of license you need? Like, is there, like, a course they've administered? Because for the love of God, if you use a sex offender as a weapon, please get it registered. Like, <laughs> Sign a word, be like, yo, when I make the cannon flash, y'all better smile. I put the red dot on him, like a pedophile. <laughs> That's awful. <Easy. laughs> But yo, 
You got your shit rocked by Yasmin. You really took a one-two in the chin. But that ain't even the real reason Beast Mode stopped booking this kid, no. Don't act all coy, bro. I know you know what you did. He backed out of a battle with Apex because he had his little arm in a splint. Aww. Fuck, man. I've seen a lot of dudes back out of battles. I've never heard an excuse as stupid as this. I mean, give me one good reason why a sore arm makes it a nuisance to spit. I mean, I get it, right? We're battle rappers. We like to take our arms and move them a bit, but just for one... <laughs> We're battle rappers. We like to take our arms and move them a bit, but just for one night, man. For one battle. Could you not just do it like this? Like... <laughs> But yo, for real, all jokes aside, that apex battle would have been a high point for you. Instead, you fell down from the cliff. He could have been a molehill. You made a mountain of him. You, you showed Joey and Wheezy that you ain't down with the click. I mean, they gave you an opportunity. You a clown for this shit. You use their league for attention and clout when you win. But the moment you're dealt a bad hand, you wouldn't go out on a limb? Really? That's it. Down, everyone. Yo, I swear to fucking God, if I end up hyping this crowd and then you rap about how your gun shoots, I hope they give you the silencer sound. It's suicide how it's dying them down because that gun backfired. And if it starts with a bang, it'll end up taking all this life from around. But you remind me of this episode of The Simpsons where Homer's an inventor but creates dumb stuff because you end up getting painted as a clown every time you take a shot with your little makeup gun. But this bazooka? But this bazooka? This shit completed all my chores. Sent loving text to all the people I adore. This fucking AR looks like a spaceship, except it beams you to the morgue. I got a gun so big, it's almost, it's almost believable as yours. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's almost believable as yours. Uh-uh. I got a night vision scope. Yeah, probably to help you take all these shots in the dark. We just can't. We just can't picture you with it. But he thinks that's subjective. Like, I thought this was art. Until he catches a chest shot and his organs are up the block at the park. Then you can chase your dreams for real and really go and follow your heart. Yeah, yeah. He's bipolar. He's bipolar. One minute he's angry, then he's not. He'll compliment me in DMs and try to play me in the spot. He'll do anything if it's raising up his stock, even raising up the stock. But after all is said, your battle with reality is the only real debatable you got. Yeah, but he goes from this jokester to a killer in the blink of an eye. I'd rather die being truthful and end up living this lie. That's why it's always dead in the building and it kills him inside. Just because you're a prisoner of your own brain doesn't mean you have a criminal mind. Yeah, but still he'll try to be Mr. Serious when he knows it's just smarter to roast you. All these humorous attempts to act hard are just no use, it's comedy. Hearing about your knife and the hearts that'll poke through shit. I guess even your serious bars are some jokes too. Oh shoot, he'll be your friend when you speak, but rap's all aggressive and mean. Boy, you're fakers than the rapper you're pretending to be. It's scripted that this lifeless actor would end up dead on the scene. But y'all know the feeling after watching midget porn? <laughs> no? No, me neither, me, me neither, me neither. But this matchup relates to it, cause I'm mad and ashamed of it, but there's no going back now, and after I'll be sad that it actually came to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm a, yeah, cause I'm a star compared to this peasant. Say your prayers for ascension, cause that's where I'ma send them. Your pen is in the clouds, cause before you memorized any lines, you were set to die. So you were just preparing for heaven. So go ahead, say your corny little dad jokes that you abuse the cheat code. Say the same shit as all them other dudes up in beast mode and follow in the footsteps they left before you like wearing shoes in the deep snow. Round. <clears throat> See you front like a solid dude. But you got a bit of a yappy mouth. You're always talking shit about your brother. I'm starting to wonder what that's about. Like you're trying to flex off his rep. I'm surprised he ain't slap you out. See, if your brother did dirt, your brother did dirt. But that is his dirt to rap about. Listen. When you tell street stories about other people, they are far from as potent. I mean, it's borderline dry snitching. You're not far from a rodent. I don't care if your brother's in a cell. It don't mean y'all fit the modus. It doesn't matter how close your bond is. You can't be hard by osmosis. Listen, listen, you talk like you've been growing up tough. 
disenfranchised. And I ain't really saying that you're not. I just have trouble believing you came up in that environment and grew up so fucking soft. Because if you talk to him, he'll tell you his daddy might have moved to Vanna White. Said he worked with a scale, but I'm wondering about the real proportions. See, I had a whole host of doubts, but wouldn't say jack till you boast about it to feel important. So go ahead. Keep a straight face and a stiff lip like rigor mortis, because the moment I touch this square, you'll see word get exposed like wheel of fortune, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's crazy. You're right. <laughs> See, everybody's a fucking thug Up until the moment they meet a real one Think it's all cat Till Max shows up and fucking peels one He a big shot Till I fucking feel one He didn't have a name on the street He had to fucking steal one Listen I seen you battle Z-Pro yeah. Mr. Terrible Facts Mr. Zachary David Jeez, bro You're like practically famous <laughs> But you said some shit to Zach that I happen to hate. And I hate it all the more because people actually rate it. I mean, surprise, surprise. A bar about how his brother's in prison. He compared him to a broken PlayStation. I'm not even kidding. As far as metaphors go, it's like the oddest decision. He said he was stuck in the system like the eject button was sticking. <laughs> fuck the fuck off, bro. <laughs> and then he gets this look on his face like it's, oh, so poetic. I was like, bro, no, it isn't. Like, if, <laughs> if my brother compared me to broken electronics, I'd be fucking pissed. I'd be like, bro, suck a dick. Like, that is no good way to commemorate your fam, man. It'd be like if every time I stubbed my toe, it reminded me of Graham Graham. Like, no, it's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking weird, okay? And I can just imagine, you know, final word of some friends over. He's gonna play some 2K with his peers. Suddenly the eject button stops working. He gets all spacey and weird. <laughs> you look up close and on his face there's a tear. His homie's like, bro, you okay? He's like, yeah, man. I just really wish my brother was here. Like, it's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. But you know what that bar reminds me of? It reminds me of me and my brother when we was just little kids, Christmas time. Everyone was cheesing, we was wrapping some gifts. I see my brother in a struggle. He was trying to wrap some shit for little sis, but every time he tried to fold a corner, the shit had ripped. <laughs> this is real, okay? <laughs> now, he was only six, and you could tell that he was getting pissed, because every time he tried to make a cut, the scissors slipped. First, he got a red face, and then he had the quivering lip. Next, he got the misty eyes. The tears, they started spilling quick. But in that moment, in that moment, he reminded me of you. At least a little bit. You know why? Because no matter how hard he tried to rap, he still looked like a little bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, he's an admin on bars of death. Hey. Man, that name's... That name's pretty intense. <laughs> you, Teddy, Jason, woo! That's like the grittiest set. <laughs> Plus, you gotta be initiated to join the most gangster click on the net. Let's go! Plus, Plus you gotta be initiated to join the most gangster click on the net. They jump you in on RuneScape with him and six of his friends. So go, so go ahead, so go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead, make fun of my struggle bars and how my brother got stuck in the system. Pretty easy to do from the comfort of the suburbs you lived in. The only difference between my struggle and yours is that my struggle existed. Yeah, I never once. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Yo, I never once in your life have you been overprepared. Even brags about finishing without a moment's to spare. Called himself nobody special as a joke. But judging by his views, I think it's totally fair. Because until nobody cares, well then, nobody cares. But he hit me up after my last battle, like, sick performance. But to fit in, he... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But to, but to fit in, he'd force it and say he thinks I'm boring. 
just a closet fan. Half the time, like winter storage. React to what? Once the laughs are done, you still rap like an average bum who thinks his product's dope, but he'll get a taste test of his own medicine when I smack his gums. A sissy, a catfish, who doesn't live what he's rapping. I'd eat your food like Yogi and take a boo-boo in your picnic basket. I don't, yo. Yo, I'll eat your food like Yogi and take a boo-boo in your picnic basket. I don't care if you want to be black. I'll squeeze until you're white. Sound like a fat man on a treadmill. You'll be wheezing just alike. <gasps> <gasps> Sound like big pun breathing on the mic. Boy, 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 I will literally, I will literally melt you into ash and make up for all the melanin you lack because your skeleton is black and you'll get laid in a grave like a necrophiliac. <gasps> Yeah, the face of a dab smoker who's really getting baked. As soon as the torch is lit on his wig, I'ma hit you till it breaks. Open hand, literally smack dab in the middle of your face. Wow. Yeah, he thinks he, he thinks he paints this vivid picture. But if I'm being honest and unbiased, it reminds me of South Park graphics. Cause the quality's just like it and your poor animation is the reason that this body is one-sided. Time. Yo, that's crazy, man. What a wow. fucking battle. Yo, you thought shit was sweet, but it's aspartame, uh, masquerade, I'll rep for the team like manta rays in Tampa Bay, this cat should skate, I got two weights on me, like I'm Patrick Kane, don't plan to play, but I'll still lay word flat, shit it's a scrabble game man, I said I carry eights. Guess I'm a mathematician, I'll put dots on either side of them. That's division, but I prefer it up close. Cutthroat, that's precision. Grab a blade, stab it in, retract the shit, and make guts pop out like malnutrition, man. Let's go. You traveled eight fucking hours to battle in nobody. That's pathetic. And I hold it down like my dad did. That's genetics, man. I said I'll hold it down like my dad did. That's genetics. I guess I have to sort word out. Alphabetic, cause word got me fucked up. Max dyslexic, man, you underestimate me? That's a bad decision, cause I'll break word into pieces. That's phonetics. The worst part is, I like this dude. Facts, I said it. He's got a good run going, but I have to end it. If he's on the road to the top, he got some bad directions, cause I just hope he comes back from this collision strong. Pathogenic, man. Let's go. Let's go. Give some love to Pathogenic, boys. Come on. See, this is a big step up for you. But you ain't ready, man. Geez, you gonna end up shit's creep like the Levy family. Cause I'm just another rapper that I bet he can't beat. I'm on point in the north like Freddie Van Vliet. Let's go. You little bitch. I'm the rookie of the... I said, I'm the rookie of the year. So quit acting like I'm not a star. You've been around a bit longer, but I am not alarmed because it's been shown in the past. I can shoulder the mass. I've been dope with the raps from the start. Bitch, I'm Scotty Barnes, man. Man. I don't know who booked this battle. All I know is it's nonsense because I got higher ambitions. Call me Goran Dragic, dude, I can do it all. Like James Harden in his time with Houston. Fuck with dimes all day, but I'm fine with shooting. Now his synapse is snapping. That's his final movements. I'll put word on his shirt like I'm with stupid, man. Come on. <laughs> dude, you ain't even noteworthy. Yeah, fuck yeah, it's good. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> You ain't even noteworthy on the list of ops that I've faced. Not even second best dog. You are not LeBron James. And I know some of y'all been taking shots at my game, but they say I lost focus. But I ain't falling from grace. Some of y'all forget. I got a job that's well paid. Self-employment got me working the longest of days. Not to mention, I got a fucking daughter to raise. So the hurdles we facing, I'm just saying, they have not been the same. So you... Don't forget the fucking part that I play. If you keep me guarding the gate, if you don't want him to stay, man, I'll put these marks on a stake and fucking watch him decay. I'll put word in the dirt when I'm marking his grave, man. You are just another dude who went and got in the way. If I worked with a pound, I catch dog with a stray. But when I let it blow with this guy though, it's like I'm saying I'm putting my nose to the grindstone because no matter what way you spin it, he's just another tool here to sharpen my blade. Let's go. Let's go. 
See, I'm here to coin myself the best in the city because I don't hear it enough. And y'all can keep thinking I'm loony because I'm just trying to keep it a buck. I'm MBS. Fuck you. Let's go. Yo, make some noise for MBS, man. Yo, the second you accepted this, you lost clear. Soul flying. I guess you'll finally get your wish of your ascension up to God tier. Earlier, you should have aborted. But I guess it doesn't matter either way because you were dead before you got here. Your little butt buddy's acting the hypest. That shit is priceless. Bunch of coke heads in the bathroom, how they react when a line hits. And, and y'all fuel them. And y'all fuel them by sucking them off. So I guess all your little gas has been siphoned. And them whiskey shots have been damaging his liver. But he cut it down to a 12 pack a day. Like, I'll be damned if I'm a quitter. He doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't need AA and too much he doesn't need AA in his opinion, but I bet his families will differ. Just because he went from a shot glass to a beer mug doesn't mean that now you have a handle on your liquor. Yeah, but I get it. But I get it. But I get it. You do it for. But I get it. You do it for fun. You and your buds abusing the suds, but the only influence you've ever had over them is when you out drink them and end up puking your guts. That's why your viewers are bunk. Who would have thunk? All the beers you bought would be so sobering. Cause after every sip you take, you end up losing your buzz. And last event, you were on stage and your girl was in the crowd looking like half these rappers had been inside her. Y'all go home with the crowd and she turns your little one-on-one -on -one battles into a cypher, for real. <laughs> Out here inviting all your friends, come stay at your place. Treating them like stars while throwing shade in your face. He felt like nobody's special for so long, he went and made it his name. I mean, bro, they don't even help you push your battles. But when it comes to her, all of them share. Show up to events with battle bars and a fucking condom prepared. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Fucked up. You could be so good at fathering your children while she's swallowing theirs. Zero. Zero self-confidence. He has zero self-confidence still considers her a cocky chick and we do too but mostly because of all the dicks a little on the plump side but he calls her thick she gasses easy so she never gets on top of it so i guess she's repping your crew better than you because her whole life she's always been a bottom six yeah but she, yeah but she just wants you to take her somewhere where the sights surround her ireland china maybe romance her in Spain while you buy your flowers, but the closest you've ever came is when you and your friend showed her the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> How are you gonna let them hit it but by the purses and the shoes? Bro, she was even flirting with me too. Every time you kiss her, you're practically blowing every person in this room. So in conclusion, after the last event, they all went to his home. And she was practically wrapped up to present like presents with bows, doing naughty things by the Christmas tree, but wasn't left with some coal. I think I misunderstood why y'all chose to name the last event the fucking Festivus Roast. Wow. Round three. <laughs> Time. Yo. Time. Make some fucking noise, my brother. That was incredible. Yo, oh, yeah. make some noise for final word in MBS. Oh, yeah.